do you exemplify the values of integrity and honesty we want um, through, for our elected officials? Yeah. You know, um, I went through some really negative press cycle last year, you know, and I made a, 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 I made an, I made a mistake that I wish I had it. <coughs> And I pay price for that. But you know, as an elected official, I believe that everybody shall be held accountable for their mistake, whether you meant to do it or not. So I accepted my responsibility. I'm moving forward. Now, my opponents may try to use that to smear me, but I'm, I'm not coming into this campaign blind. We have done a lot of research. I've gone back to the voters over and over again. And you know what they care about? They care about jobs, education, health care, all the great work that I've done for them for six years. I have been elected by a lot of the same voters in this supervisor district three times. In 2006, I didn't have that many endorsements. I didn't have Mayor Sweeney's endorsement. I didn't have the Building Trades endorsement. But I won that race because the voters care about qualification, what you can do for them, and what you've done for them. I'm going to run on my record. And I believe that I made an honest human mistake that I paid price for. I'm going to move forward with integrity and do my damn best to serve the district. And if I'm elected as a supervisor, I will continue to work as I did for the past 20 years and continue that work on behalf of District 2. Thank you. Okay.